Again, it's Mackenzie back with episode three of Weird Animal Facts Parrot Edition. Today I have Rico, our yellow naped Amazon, here to talk all about how birds see and feather coloration. Now let's start with a simple question. What color is Rico? Green and yellow, right? Or is she? Believe it or not, a lot of birds are able to see UV light and their plumage or feathers reflect that light. This means that to me and you, Rico is green and yellow, but to other birds, she's a rainbow of different shades. Why can birds do that and we can't? So this is where we're gonna get really scientific. The human eye contains three types of cone cells, red, green, and blue. Diurnal birds actually have a fourth type of cone cell that is specifically for seeing UV wavelengths. They also have a tiny drop of colored oil on each of those cones, which the human eye doesn't have. This allows them to see shades that would look the same to us, and they would actually look different to them. They're able to use this supervision for a ton of different activities, such as choosing mates, scanning for predators, and even looking for food. In fact, a lot of seeds, fruits, and berries also reflect UV light, making them much easier for birds to spot. Now, hair coloration is thought to aid in communication, and they get these beautiful colors from pigments called porphyrins. The exception to that is blue and purple. Those actually don't come from pigments at all, but from light refraction, just like the sky. Their feathers also contain keratin, which acts like a prism, causing some iridescence. A colorful parrot is often thought to be a healthy parrot, which is why we provide our parrots here at Zoo Atlanta with a balanced diet, plenty of sunlight, and proper humidity to make sure that their feathers stay bright and colorful. Unfortunately, there is a downside to having such beautiful feathers. A colorful parrot is thought to be very valuable in the illegal wildlife trade. Several parrot species are threatened or endangered partially due to illegal wildlife trapping and trade. Thankfully, it's a pretty easy thing to help. All of us can help birds like Rico by doing things like researching before bringing new pets into our home, avoiding products that support illegal wildlife trade, and by not liking or sharing any videos you see on social media that are showing animals doing unnatural behaviors. Rico and I hope you learned a lot today about parrot coloration and how they see things. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.